Hi, welcome to the 3 Minute Trading Coach. I'm Brett Steenbarger, and today we have an interesting topic using emotion to help our trading performance. Now, that might sound a little bit unusual on the surface because so much of traditional trading psychology tells us. Well, we're supposed to get rid of emotion in our trading. We're supposed to be calm. We're supposed to be like robots. When in fact, the uh, opposite is the case. For two reasons. One is when we have a feel for markets, when we have an intuitive sense that comes from our pattern recognition, that is an emotional experience. If we were true robots, uh, if we truly dampened all emotional experience, we would also dampen our feel for markets. And so the issue isn't getting rid of emotion. The issue is which emotions are helpful to our performance and, and which ones are harmful. However, I'm going to talk about the use of emotion in a different context of trading. You'll notice in the most recent blog post, which I have linked on the YouTube page for this video, I discuss three elements that go into a good trading review. So at the end of your day, you're reviewing your trading. These are three areas that I personally find in my own trading very, very helpful to review, to make improvements day over day. Now the question is, and I don't see this question being addressed elsewhere. What emotional state should we be in during our trading reviews? Should we be in that calm, relatively emotionless state? Or does it make sense to bring emotion into our review of trading? Well, it turns out in psychology research that emotional experience is very important to the change process. In fact, uh, what I've written with respect to brief therapies is that if you look across different areas of counseling and therapy, what you see is the introduction of new change techniques, new insights, while people are in states of heightened emotional experiencing. When we are in a state of heightened emotional experiencing, we process things more deeply and we're able to access them much better. The worst thing we could do in a trading review is go over our trading in a relatively non-emotional bored and listless way. Many people do their trading review at the end of the day. They're tired. You know, it's been a long day. And so it's a rather cursory process. They're not really going into depth into the three areas that I mentioned in the blog post. But more importantly, they're not going into each of those areas with that heightened emotional experience. Think about reviewing with a coach the plays of a football game, the plays of a basketball game, perhaps you're reviewing game film. Is that going to be an emotionless experience? No, the coach is going to be fired up and say, you've got to do this. You've got to get position under the basket to get the rebound. You've got to be able to block and tackle over here. And it's that heightened experience of the review that makes it stick in the mind and helps us access it going forward. So you want to perform your trading reviews with enthusiasm, with a sense of challenge and purpose. You want to inspire yourself to make the changes the next day. It's not just informing yourself, it's inspiring yourself. This has been the 3-Minute Trading Coach. Thanks again for your interest. Have a great week.